Hello everybody, Lucas Rubelke here with another AngularJS screencast. Today we're going to be building out a very simple website using AngularJS routes and partials. So let's get started. What I have here is a very uh, basic HTML page that we're going to be building off of. I've went ahead and defined a header as well as styled it out in a container that we're going to actually load uh, the partials in uh, once we get to that point. So first things first, what I have is the AngularJS 1.0 Release Candidate 6 as well as uh, Twitter Bootstrap and then just a few styles that I've went ahead and defined for us um, beforehand so we could get right down to code. So as with any uh, Angular application, the first thing you want to do is uh, auto-initialize your app. And I am going to um, reference a module here that we are going to build out in just a moment called Website. And uh, let's go ahead and build out the page that the, or the JavaScript file that that's going to live in. We will call this JS Website JS. And let's create that. And let's go ahead and just define this module in the most basic possible sense, Angular module. And let's give it a name of website. And we're going to send it an empty array because uh, we're not injecting anything into it at the moment. And let's go ahead as well um, and create a controller for this entire page. And we'll just call this main controller. Okay. And let's just define this as well. Just very good. So now that we have kind of the kind of the basics in place, we can start to build off of this. So routes. What are routes? So routes are used for deep linking in any kind of a single page application. Um, Whereas a flat website with, with multiple uh, files in it, and you're just moving from one to another, is that the URL would just say, hey, go to this page in the website. Well, now with a single page application with you know all of this kind of built into this application, you have to have a way to get there. And so routes provide uh, basically what's called deep linking functionality, where you can basically create a link deep into the application and go straight to that portion of it. And so we are going to be using the uh, the route service for that. But in conjunction with routes is that you have to define, in Angular at least, a um, a place for the, the templates that you define with the routes to go. And you do that using uh, ng, the ng-view directive, which we are going to define right now. And it's as simple as just creating a div and dropping that directive into it. So now when you create your routes, you have a place for your partials uh, to go to. So let's actually build out the, uh, let's build out and define these routes. So we are going to do this using the config method. And notice that I'm just chaining it together. That's one of the nice things about JavaScript and Angular in particular. And uh, so we're going to go here. We're going to inject the route provider. And we are now going to start to build out these routes. So let's go ahead and create three routes. Um, I would like to create three routes called about, experiments, and then home routes. So let's start the first one. And we're basically saying when this route happens process everything in this object so let's go ahead and go template and partials about html there we go and let's do one more when experiments template Oops. Okay. Now, what happens if somebody puts in a route that doesn't exist, such as blah, blah, blah? 
you need to have some way to, to fall back to a page or a portion of your application that actually exists. And so we are going to use our home route uh, for that purpose. And so we're going to say do this route, this route, or this route. But if you can't find it, otherwise uh, redirect to home. And we are going to say the template for this is partials home.html, which I suppose that makes sense. And here. And so now, uh, basically, what I've done is I've defined um, I've defined the module, and I am configuring it and injecting in the route provider, and then I'm defining these three routes and how they should be handled. Is for about uh, basically load the about template experiments, the experiments template, and so on. So let's go ahead and load this page and see what happens. Amazing. Um, we actually have. Uh, this partial right here, I'm just going to show you real quick, it's nothing special. Basic HTML, there's nothing to it. Into the ng view portion of the uh, the main page here. Now, you can change the route and go uh, about, for instance, since we defined that, and I'm loading the about partial or experiments, like so. And then um, Let's just go blah, blah, blah. Oh, so it's going defaulting back to the home route. So let me go about, and let me just show you how this actually, you can jump into to any specific part of this. Let's create a new tab, and let me just copy this, paste this in. So you see, it goes right to the about portion. So this is all nice and wonderful, and I was able to do this in a very small amount of code, but we still need a way to, to navigate this. So let's go over here to Menu, and I'm going to create a button, and um, Class Button, and I'm going to say About. Okay, and I don't know how that got in there, but actually, let's say home about experiments. Okay, so let's just refresh this. Now we have three buttons home about experiments, but they don't actually do anything. So let's add in some functionality. I'm going to add in ng click. And um, we're going to define a method on the main controller in just a moment. And we're going to say set route. And we're going to set in the home route, like so. Uh, we'll do this for every one of these about. Experiments. Okay, now we need to actually create this method. So to do that, you need to inject in the location service. And because we're going to use that in just a moment, so for this method, set route equals function, uh, we'll just create this parameter like so. And then we're going to, this is pretty easy, just location dot path route like so. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And so if we go home, let's go to about experiments, about experiments. Now let's click on uh, logo. Nothing happens here, but it could, and it's easy enough to hook up. Um, let's just basically call ng click on this. G click set route home. And that is all there is to that. Okay. So 
pretty easy, super simple website. Let's just take this one step farther, uh, just for fun. In partials, I am going to create a very basic template. And when I say basic, I mean very basic. Let's just call it basic template.html. Let's create an h1 tag, and let's just say title. And let's create a paragraph tag, and let's say body. OK, super simple. Let's go back here. And let's point to this basic template partial that I just created. Let me just copy this. OK, so now we actually have a template that is uh, looking for some basic dynamic data. And we need to do something with that. So the nice thing about routes is that you can actually attach a controller to each one of these partials, thus, in a sense, creating you know many applications within a larger application. So let's go controller. Let's call uh, this about controller. That makes sense. Controller. Let's call this experiments controller. Good. And this one naturally is going to be called home controller. OK, so let's actually just create these real quick. Uh, oops. That's what I was looking for about controller. Uh, experiments controller. Home controller. OK, so I have these controllers defined. Now we actually have to create something to put into this uh, templated partial that I created. So we will go scope, title, so about page, scope, body. And we will say, um, this is about page body. OK, nothing too fancy. Just paste this in here. And oops, that is home. OK, so now I've created essentially three controllers. I've re referenced them in the routes, and then I define these two properties to put into the templated uh, partial. So let's just go back here, refresh it, and what is happening? I've just thrown an error, so let's troubleshoot this real quick. Home controller is not defined. That's because I spelled that wrong. Oh yes, thank you Firebug. So let's just go ahead and try this again. Cross your fingers. Voila. So about experiments home. The nice thing is, is this is using the same uh, partial and we're just patching in uh, dynamic data. So that wraps up uh, the screencast. Once again, I'm just blown away about how easy it is to get things done in AngularJS and that's why I'm just so excited about um, about this framework. You know, I noticed that you know you have just pff, less than 30 lines of code and uh, some directives. And you have basically, um, albeit simple, but you have a fully functional website that you could just bang out for uh, your aunt or your uncle who you know wants to pay you $10. This would be a an appropriate route to go. That uh, So I think that just about does it for the screencast. I hope you've learned something. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great one.